Gary Johnson here, and welcome to Fresh Manor. The word of the Lord for today comes from Mark chapter 4, verse number 33. And with many such parables spoke he the word unto them as they were able to hear it. Now notice what it says. He spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. Jesus never shared everything that was on his heart. He would only share what he knew the people were able and willing to receive. Pastor always says, it's not about what you know, and it's not about what they need. It's about what are they able to receive. You see, sometimes people need to grow up in their understanding before they can receive. It's hard to communicate an adult truth with a toddler. Did you ever have a five or six year old ask you a question that you knew the answer would be so far above them they'd never they'd never understand it? Even if you spent hours explaining it to them, they still wouldn't grasp it. So what was your answer? Uh, when you grow up, I'll tell you. Well, sometimes also, a truth is not shared in order to protect the person from the curses of disobedience. See, if the Lord knows that sharing a truth with you, you're not going to do it, then he might delay sharing things with you because failure to obey will open you up to the curse. So he's given, going to give you more time to mature so that when he does speak to you, you're actually going to do what he tells you to do. And also, sometimes a, a truth doesn't get across simply because people have hardened their hearts and closed their eyes to the message. Matthew 13, verse 15 alludes to this. Jesus said, This people's heart is wax gross, it's hardened. Their eyes are dull of hearing, and their ears they have closed. Didn't say God closed their ears. They closed their own ears. They didn't want to hear it. Thus at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted, and I should heal them. Now thank God, we are not of those that have hardened our heart to the message. No, we are going to grow up in our understanding of spiritual truths. We are going to grow up in our willingness to be obedient to his directives. And we're going to keep our eyes and our ears open and our heart tender to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. For as verse 16 says in Matthew 13, Blessed are my eyes for they see blessed are my ears for they hear in jesus name